morning, holy smokeroonies. <laughs> it is November 14th and it has been a hot minute since the vlog. Has, since the birth. Since the birth, yeah. I figured it'd be, it's time to pick up the camera. I just gotta do it because if I don't do it, I'll never do it. So here we are picking up the camera. We are going to my six week doctor's appointment today. Hopefully we get cleared because your girl wants to move. She needs to move, you know? You know? But I also feel like there's a lot to catch up on. It's been seven weeks. Baby girl's back there. I don't know if you can see her in the mirror. But she's coming with us. She's doing great. We are just having a little bit of an issue with uh, like breastfeeding. Not necessarily my milk. My milk is coming in just fine. But um, she, when she was born, they told us she had a little bit of a posterior tongue tie. And um, they gave us like a nipple shield for me to use so she can latch. And uh, we thought that was fine until like it became kind of hard. Like she wasn't gaining weight. I was trying to figure out why. She just wasn't getting what she needed from me. So we started for supplementing with the formula. But in the meantime, we also decided to go see a lactation specialist. Our insurance covered it, so we were very lucky for that. Went to see that her, we've gone to her three times already and she's been so helpful, but we've uncovered that Luna also have has a high uh, palate. So it makes it hard for her to like suck and say, stay so sucking. <laughs> So um, we're trying a couple different things just to kind of help her out because she did say that the posterior tongue tie is not as severe. So it's not like the first reaction wasn't to go get it fixed. The, the first thing she wants us to do is try different modalities. I think she wants us to go see an OT, which I think stands for uh, occupational. occupational therapist. Um, she said that her like her her right her right side left side. Um, has a little bit of tension in it, which is why like it's all connected, right? So anyway, that's a long or a short story of what's been going on there. But other than that, she's back to her uh, uh, birth weight. Well, she surpassed it. Yeah. It did take her four weeks though <laughs> to surpass yeah. that. And then... Because um, we were resisting giving her formula. We wanted to try and do as much breast milk as possible. Um, and then... At the end of the day, a fed baby is a happy baby, and it's a healthy baby. So yeah, um, we began supplementing, and within like a week, I think, a week and a half or so, she yeah, was... within the week she was right there, like a little bit over her birth weight, and then after that, mm -hmm. she was nine, nine, nine six. Yeah, sorry, I just nine six. At our last lactation. <laughs> Excuse me. Our uh, last lactation, which was on Friday. Appointment, which was on Friday, and yeah. it's now Monday. So she's gaining pretty quick. Yeah. She's, good. she's a little chunky, my little chunky monkey. I gotta show you her outfit because it's like her first real outfit since we're going out. Um, but yeah, um, I'm sure we have more things to catch up on, but that's what I was thinking about right now. We'll let you in on how the appointment goes. Oh, I do want to share with you, I got um, a FabFitFun box in and I want to open that with you guys. You guys, if you've been around for a while, you'll know that I used to get them back in the day. Um, and I stop and then we're back here. So <laughs> I'm excited for that. So we'll open that when we get home. Okay, let's go to this appointment. Thank you for choosing Savos. How are you today? Good, how are you doing? Doing good. What can I get started with? Yes, I have a mobile order for Taz. Thank you. Can you can actually see? keep the straw. Okay. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Have a good you day. Too. Okay, we stopped and got Starbucks. Holiday drinks are back. And if you're not drinking the chestnut praline latte, what are you even doing? This is the first year you've drank it. That's so not like, true. That's not true. That's not true. Oh, it's so true. I was reminded of it this year. year you are such a hater. Ever. Such a hater. But. I'm not sure why she's promoting it so hard. <laughs> yes. She's not even getting paid for it. I could promote something without getting paid for it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, why are you even talking about this? It's free advertising. <laughs> People are going to be like, oh my gosh, Taz is a gold digger. Taz only cares for money. Which is the complete opposite. Anyways. <laughs> I'm wearing jeans from Walmart right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, a $6 t-shirt. True. But this drink, why I'm promoting it so hard, is because this is one of the few drinks that I love hot and cold. Okay. Oh, mm, so good. Mm. Anyway. That's that. See you at the appointment. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, no. I actually thought about other things that I wanted to catch up on you, catch you guys up on. First, we had a Lavabi drop. I know. I know, in the middle of all this craziness, I decided to drop a collection, which I'll show you guys at home. But also, um, this oh, yeah, is what this, I wanted to talk to you guys about. This boy. It's a little bit bright. I don't know if you can see. But this is a Stanley Cup. And Not the Stanley Cup, like the NHL trophy. The Stanley this is, Cup. This is my trophy, okay? But um, everyone, all the bloggers had this, and I was like, oh my gosh, if I hear one person talk about it, I might just die. But I was like, I'm not gonna get it. I like to be different, whatever. But then I gave birth, and at the hospital, they give you the hospital cups. And when I came home, I realized that I was always gravitating towards that cup with the handle. And um, I was like, oh, maybe, you know, maybe the Stanley Cup is worth it. So I spent the $50 on this cup. I got the 40 ouncer, because I prefer a bigger cup to just have it to refill less than the smaller cup and refill more fuel. And so I got the 40 ouncer in this beige beautiful color. And I drink so much water now. <laughs> it's insane. And I know how like, people are like, how can I cup? Like, it does it. It does it. Okay. I'll have a link in the children's box below if you want to order yourself some. Um, they also came out with a new, um, uh, what, what do they call it? The mat. Soft mat. Soft mat. And it feels like, what would you say it feels like? Almost it's like almost a like yoga like, mat, but like not. Like a rubberized, like very soft. It's not sticky, but it's like, it's it's soft. And it's a matte color like this. It's, it's hard on the outside. Yeah. Um, but it, it has like this texture to it that's just very soft and it's easy to grip. And I should also uh, say, um, not only does it keep your water super cold, like overnight and stuff, but your smoothies, you can have coffee and stuff on here too, but made from sustainable materials. And what I think is really, really neat and worth the $50 is that it has a lifetime guarantee. So if anything happens to your cup, like if the handle breaks or something, you can just email them and they'll send you a new one. Um, so that's really neat. Um, okay, we're gonna enjoy our coffee. Baby girl's passed out. She was fighting it. Yeah, she was. Um, it's so interesting how much we've learned about like babies and how cool they are and pretty how breaking, much of like- breaking goal a genius they are essentially like they just they just know what to do meanwhile i still don't have a damn clue <laughs> still figuring that one out <laughs> okay bye so i want to show you her outfit we're here testing the bathroom so i'll show you real quick look at the cutie her little shoes oh my god i guess you can't really even see it because of her car seat but that's the little baby she's sleeping like a cutie let's hide her again that looks great let me take the heel now okay okay yeah your uterus is nice and smooth hello hey guys getting some lunch here mm. my first time having poke since being pregnant and i'm so excited um but wanted to come on and talk about mm, the appointment. All in all, it went very well. Mm -hmm. um, what surprised me though is that she said I could have been doing anything like as I felt okay. Um, like I could have been working out weeks ago, but it's fine. Mm -hmm. oh, had a little bit of a break. I mean, no stretch. I had a long break. Okay. <laughs> At first, I was like, oh, dang, I could have been working out all this time. And then, as I was leaving the appointment, I was like, why? It's better that I didn't know that because I would have felt stress or pressure to work out right away. Mm -hmm. um, so, I'm fine. But I am going to work out starting this week, hopefully. Um, I just, we still haven't figured out a routine with her yet. So, it's been a little bit difficult, but we're going to get there. We're gonna get there. So, mm -hmm. yeah, just wanted to update you guys, but Taz and I are gonna have lunch. She's still snoozing in the back. Mm -hmm. She's gonna get hungry pretty soon. We have to go to Target to pick up um, peppers. So, okay, mm -hmm. that's it, bye. Mm -hmm. This could be considered a dream feed for sure. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> hi friends. Um, 
we just left Target and I didn't film a single thing in it because I was just, I, I don't know, I'm bad at vlogging now. But as you can see, I am multitasking, feeding baby girl here, and I'm also <laughs> pumping here. This is what life is like now. These are the Willow. These are the um, wireless, so you can just pump whenever. They were a little too big for me, the phalanges, and so, what? Well, <laughs> Is that, did I say it wrong? Flanges. What is it? Fla it's a flange. A flange. <laughs> Flanges is finger. <laughs> um, the, I was going to say the fingers were too big. The flange was um, too big for the nipple. So I went ahead and I got the 17 or the smaller inserts that you can do. Um, also tip, if you are breastfeeding, or and, and or pumping, um, your flange size is very, very important. I saw a lot more milk production when I had the right ones on, so that's just a little tidbit. But yeah, I'm just gonna feed her and pump while we're on our way home. And that's it. Hello friends, uh, we just got home and I have been dying to open up this box. Like I mentioned earlier, it's from Fun. And you guys know I've tried them, I guess, years ago now, but I'm actually really excited to be partnering with FabFitFun on this video because you guys know I've used them years ago and I loved them, especially because it's such a great value, which I'll get into in a second. However, um, because of FabFitFun, I've been able to find um, so many new products that I otherwise wouldn't have found um, and I've kept using them forever so FabFitFun has introduced me to so many amazing products and companies so excited to see what's in this box this is the winter box um, if you guys know maybe you guys don't know um, FabFitFun is a seasonal subscription service um, and so you can bill it annually i think it's 2.19.99 for the annual subscription so you'll get four boxes in a year one each season or you can do it monthly and that's 59.99 um but with my code yami you can get your first seasonal box for 49.99 um okay let's open it it's like it's like christmas you know oh yes so first we have this Oh, I love this brand. I actually found this brand through them years ago. This is Karuna Drench and Tone Dewy Dewy Duo Four Piece Sheet Mask. Love that. Oh, I got some Chinese laundry slippers. It's like a spa day, you know what I'm saying? Oh, electric wine opener. Oh my gosh, I can see it now. It's gonna be like my winter wonderland here at home, like a spa day with wine, my face mask. It's gonna be great. Who wants to come over? Listen, this is the way Detox shampoo. I have been dying to try this company. So um, I'm so glad it's in this box. You can see already that this is already valued at almost $300 because of all these amazing products that you're getting. But like I said, you can use my code to get all of this for $49.99. $49.99. This is, um, I cannot pronounce this brand for the life of me, but I love it. Um, Locutane. <laughs> Let me see, can you see that? This is their hand cream, which is wonderful um, for this time of year. Actually, my hands are really dry right now, so we're gonna try it right now. I'm also planning on making like a car essentials kit, and I wanna put like, you know, the essentials, um, like antibacterial spray, band-aids, um, Tylenol, and I wanna put, oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna put this in my car so that I can have it handy at all times. Okay, two more products, I believe. This is, the way a scalp massager. Isn't this all giving you like stay in and like treat yourself vibes? So you just put your finger here and you just give your scalp a massage. That's really great for curly haired gals like me because I don't know about you, but I don't wash my hair super often. So when I do wash it, you know, every like once every week and a half, two weeks sometimes, um, it's really nice to get the dirt and build up off of your head with that thing. So that's that. And then last but not least, oh yes, we love me some makeup. This is Hourglass Confession Lipstick. Or is it, ooh. This is fancy. Look at this. Shall we open it? It like feels like a pen. How do I open this? Or is it like probably, uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Wow, this is so beautiful. 
I have stuff on my list right now, but... Wow, this is like the perfect holiday lip. Yeah, that's everything I got in this box. I think it was amazing. It's super gloomy here today. These next couple weeks are gonna be very cold, so this is perfect for my like spa day at home routine, especially with a new baby. You guys know I need a little bit of self-care, but that was everything I got in the box. I love every single thing and I can't wait to try it. This cream smells so good. I keep getting whiffs of it. You can use my code YAMI to get your first box for $49.99. And I'll leave my link in the description box below for easy access. But if you have any questions on FabFitFun, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. But now I'm going to put all this stuff away. Do some um, housekeeping stuff. Literally, I got to do some dishes that um, we didn't do last night. And I got to clean the baby's bottles and sanitize them. So that when she wakes up for her next feed, they're ready to go. I also want to update you guys on so many other things. Oh, I have a new office configuration. I don't know if you guys noticed where I'm filming. It's actually kind of a mess right now, so I'll show you guys later. But I did want to show you the new uh, core collection that we just launched last week. Was that last week already? A week and a half ago? I'm in a time warp, it feels like, so excuse me on that. But we launched my new core collection, and essentially what it is is a collection that I want to keep around forever. And just introduce either new pieces or new colors. So right now I launched with three different colors, um, Onyx Road, which is like a beautiful purple wine burgundy, and a Midnight Navy. And what's really cool, the leggings are like, I'm wearing them right now. It's actually really funny. I was doing laundry yesterday and I was just like pulling stuff out. And I was like, what pants are these? These feel really, really nice. And I was like, surely they're not mine. And I looked at it and it was Lovavi, the new core leggings. And I was like, oh, I'm shook at how good they feel. Like it's, it's kind of surreal that I made these leggings because I'm living in them. And that just blows my mind. But we released leggings, biker shorts and the like the prize possession of this launch is the sports bra which is a six-way sports bra you can wear it six different ways um it's reversible so you can you can wear it the front way the back way in both colors so that's four and then you can twist the bra to have a little bit of a peak of the reverse color in both ways so it's really really neat i love it um everyone that's gotten the packages so far from launch have has loved it they've loved how it feels they've loved um the sports bra and um, i'm actually just really really proud especially since they're um, sustainable materials made from plastic bottles so um, i'm very proud of it so that's that I feel like there's so much that I need to catch you guys up on, but I actually don't remember right now. For now, I'm gonna clean this up and then I'll come back. It is now 5.23 and um, we're going to an engagement dinner tonight. We, I just found out a couple hours ago. Um, so I have makeup on from this morning. I'm not gonna do much. I'm just gonna reapply, if you will. And then I'm gonna change and we're out of here. It's at 6.30. I just finished preparing baby girl stuff. Pumped earlier today, so I'm gonna feed her that on the way there because that's her time to eat. And then I brought, or I'm packing, some formula in case she gets hungry um in case we don't come back in time for her next feed which is hopefully um the breast so let's get ready <laughs> okay this is the final look i haven't worn this since before i gave birth and i love it i'm wearing my little combat boots i'll try to show you guys this in the full length mirror so i put my hair up in a ponytail which i never do which i think is i'm actually like loving it right now and yeah let's go Okay, here is the final look. Like I said, my hair's in a ponytail. It's never in a ponytail, but I'm feeling it. And then this dress is from Revolve. I'll try to find the link because it's last year, I believe. And then these combat boots, also from last year. Okay, what are you wearing? I'm wearing ASOS, <laughs> Puma, a $6 tee. <laughs> This is the most expensive thing on my body. It is. This is like what, an eighty dollar fanny pack. Ninety dollars. Because it's a, it's a, a baby bag. Ba it's yeah. A, Changing it's a, pad, so bad thing. You have some compartments. I have some wipes in here. 
take you through this real quick because maybe women, if you're watching this, get this video man's if you're pregnant. <laughs> this is great. I wish it was just a Or little put little it little in your little. registry. Yeah. Um, here's where I hold the diapers. I can put a wallet, keys, a passy. And then what's really cool on the back, take it off, has a little thing, a little changing thing that folds out. Yeah. And then there's one more compartment oh, that there's. is a, uh, it, so you can put like oh. wet stuff in. Oh, cool. Here. Like a wet, like yeah. a, like if you need, a I think soiled... you need to put a diaper or like a shirt or a bib or whatever. Um, and it's great. It's, it's stylish. Stylish um, comes in a bunch of colors. Not sponsored. We bought this. Well, well, they bought it for us. Or I just wear it as well. Yeah. yeah. And I got him That's this for fun. Father's Day this past year with her name on it. Mm -hmm. And there she is eating self-sufficient over here. Yep. There we go. And you guys saw her outfit. She only has one chain, one outfit a day at this rate. But we're gonna go. Yay! Yay! <laughs> it's like just like that. <laughs> What do you want to say? Hi, I'm making my debut. Hi, mom. <laughs> Hello friends, I just finished eating some breakfast, but I wanted to come on and talk to you guys about how she did last night. So it was her first time out um, in like a group setting like that, and she did so good. I was just like shook because, so typically she's eating around three to four ounces a serving, like a feed, and we fed her on the way there for three ounces, and we're like, oh, she should be good, she'll fall asleep, it'll be fine. As soon as I walk into the room where the event was happening, she um, started crying. And I was like, she can't be hungry. She's probably just like being fussy. Nope, she was hungry. So I had packed an extra two ounces just in case she was hungry. And um, I think I did because she drank it. So she drank that and I was like, holy moly. And then um, after she finished, like right after that, she started crying again. And I was like, wait, are you really still hungry? Like, are you kidding? And I had a four ounce or packed. So I was like, are we gonna give this her right now? Well, she, she drank it all. So homegirl drank nine ounces in one sitting. Um, and then she passed out for the rest of the time we were there. And, um, and then when we got home, she ate again at 10, which is normal, like three hours after her feed. But like what they say is one ounce per hour will keep them full. Um, and this girl ate three hours later. <laughs> and she ate for me and then she had like a, a topper um, of formula. And yeah, she just proceeded to eat per usual throughout the night. And I was just like, this girl really just like took down nine ounces in one sitting, insane. But she did good nonetheless. And yeah, it's just a lot, but my mom is here. She's been so helpful. She's actually leaving in a couple weeks. So December, mid-December, I think she's leaving. So I'm trying to like not depend on her so much so I can get a real swing of things. But it's been such a blessing having her here because I've been able to launch. I've been able to do some work, but it's gonna be hard when she's gone. I don't know how mothers do it like on their own, <laughs> especially single mothers. Like what the heck? Like, it's just a lot and I commend every single one of you. I mean, mothers in general, because I mean, it's hard. We're out here learning and trying our best, but it's very hard. But I have to go to the storage unit um, where all the Lavabi stuff is and prep some Black Friday stuff. So Black Friday is happening starting on the 18th. So I'm not sure when this video is gonna go live, but if it's live on the 18th or after, go check out lavabi.co. We are doing up to 80% off, so go check it out. If you've been wanting to try Lavabi, now is the time. Yeah, I'm sorry that I feel like, I, I feel like I am all over the place. That's literally where I'm at right now in my life. <laughs> um, nothing is like cohesive or like, I'm literally all over the place, like this sentence. I don't know what's going on. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go get ready for the day. I haven't even brushed my teeth yet, so I'm gonna go brush my teeth, change, and um, continue to work. Mm -mm. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> Hi friends, so it's now 2.15 and I have to make some adjustments. I don't think I'm going to be able to go to the storage unit today just because 
baby is <laughs> going through a leap. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, she's literally been feeding every hour and a half, two hours. So, um, yeah, and I have too much to do here and I can't let her go. So I think I'm just gonna close the vlog off right here. I'm having lunch right now while she's napping. I'm gonna get to work, um, but be patient with me. I'm gonna try very hard to get the vlogs back up to an actual routine again. It's just been very difficult for me to like do everything like I used to because there's not a baby involved. So here's my lunch. I'll show you. I'm having some soup and some bread because I'm freezing and it's cold in Houston. Okay. Sorry if this vlog was all over the place. <laughs> and if there's anything you want me to touch on, leave it down below so I can get some like inspo going to get these YouTube vlogs back up. So thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.